you can grow algae photosynthetically with the sunlight and capture carbon dioxide is the way that most people think of when they think of algae. There are other ways to grow algae. You can supply sugars to it and then the algae will grow actually to a higher biomass when you put the sugars in. So more biomass means more yield of the algae, um, more biodiesel you can make from the same amount of, of volume that you grow. The sugars can be expensive if you buy purified sugars. So we're looking at ways of using um, waste sugars to do that the cultivation. Um, waste sugars are like corn stover, for instance. Um, after they harvest the corn, they take the corn cobs out. They have the, the stalks and the leaves left. Those still contain starchy materials, those um, longer sugar complexes. You can get those out in a chemical or enzymatic way and then use those to feed the algae. So basically what I'm doing is, uh, what I'm researching, is to use corn stover, that's a waste material, um, and turn that into biodiesel using algae. That's kind of, the, on a high level, the topic that we're doing. It's a great learning experience um, to be like a researcher, to be a student, as to be like a lab technician itself because this is kind of like an initial phase to know about um, you know, the lab safety procedures, following protocols, maintaining discipline and like using stepwise instructions and it just develops you um, as a researcher so it's a great experience for any student to have I think. This is not like a typical lab project where you give them a protocol, they do it and you know what you're going to get in the end. Um, this is really research. Um, a lot of the times I don't know what the answer is going to be. We have to do the experiments. So I'm learning with them and we're trying things out. Of course I'm guiding them in certain ways uh, to do the experiments. Me being an employee, I have a say in what goes on here. Um, not necessarily the overall structure of it, but if I see something that maybe he doesn't see because he's doing more of a logistical aspect of it and I bring it up to him, he'll generally sit down and say, you know, that's a great idea, why don't we go ahead and do that? Or, you know, I've already thought of that, you know, this is why it doesn't work. They come in with a, a good knowledge of what's in the textbooks, um, but then putting them to work is always a learning experience for them as well, because I can train them uh, things that are really happening in research, things how to really approach certain problems and stuff. So I like working with people on a one-on-one -on -one basis to um, train them that way. So that's very rewarding to see them coming out of this and them being prepared for going into the research as well.